<laughs> but if Dr. J went out there mm-hmm. and niggas like, I just fucking demolished Dr. J. It's like, nigga, come on. The only bro. time they're making a mockery out of it is if you like do some like Nick Bridge shit and you get on the court and you're like. We need to talk about that <laughs> shit too. Like, <laughs> them niggas is wild. Bro, them niggas saw, just can't play basketball. I it's saw like, a video of Nick Briz in a hood and the guy was furious that they were talking shit and winning. And then he like hit Nick Briz on the head on some tap shit. Like, like it might've, it might've shook him a little. Yeah. Nick Briz instinctually tackled him to the floor. I'm not going to lie. He gained some points in my book because of that. That's not his hood. He didn't know how that situation was going to go. All he knew is he had to tackle him. You couldn't let him get away with it. I thought that was uh, low key. I know some people don't like it. I think those videos are very entertaining. Some of, no, let me say this. Sometimes they are funny, but when it feels like he's being forced, I don't need to feel like sometimes it might feel like that, but that's like, that's like a couple, couple last videos feel like they're forced, bro. When I hop on 2k and I'm talking shit to a player to get a reaction, like I'm forcing it. They might not react. Like, who knows if they'll react? But, but I'm like, hey, bro, you, you're dog you, shit. You can't you, dribble. And you cut that out, right? Yeah, I cut it out. Okay, exactly. Because <laughs> you know why. Because you, you would look wild if, if a fucking 14-year-old on the other end, you're like, you're fucking dog shit, bro. Pass me the fucking ball, you bitch. You fucking pussy-ass nigga. Chill, like, bitch. if you were saying all that, trying to get monetized. And, and then the 14-year-old kid is like, not saying anything, you're cutting that out because it looks crazy for you to do it, that. It's also just not entertaining, so that too. That's what I'm saying. And then so then when they're like trying to bait cash, I'm like, Come I'm not gonna on, lie, bro. but when you're baiting somebody in person, it's hilarious. It's, 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 it's low key hilarious. It's low key. Because you look at their face, you be like, damn. That shit they did against Two Hype was like so disrespectful. I was like, <laughs> yo, that was, oh, God damn. That hey, John, shit, how you feel about that? John, if you haven't seen that after this podcast, I gotta show you that. No cap. You seen it? Yeah, I, there's no way John didn't see it. Yeah. He said you would have slapped him? Damn, John said he would have slapped Nick Briz. That's crazy. That's crazy. You beat the shit out of Nick wow. Briz. Would you fuck him up, though, if y'all got in a fight? Because, you know, Nick Briz got that big man with him, that tall white man. John said he'd fuck right. him up. Wow. You don't matter, right? Because you in Atlanta. You got to come down to Atlanta and see you, right, my boy? Wow, John. Wow. Damn, that's oh. crazy. Damn, I, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear, though, my boy. I leave, I hear you loud and clear. I don't know. Sometimes it just kind of like it's like, damn, bro. Like I get y'all trying to entertain, but like, nigga, just play basketball. I've, dog. Seen, I've seen like a, a surprise, not a surprising amount, but just like more people saying like how they're like anti Nick Briz now in terms of just like playing like park content creation with yeah. the sole purpose of talking shit because like Devonte Friga plays in the parks too. And he talks smack from time to time, but he doesn't like but he instigate. Mad chill though, he, like he Nick Briz is the to... definition of yes. uh, that instigation meme that RDC instigate instigator meme. <laughs> Which one is that? The ones they do, um, the fucking Hood Olympics. You know oh, how yeah, every yeah, 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 yeah. they got the instigator stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, he's yeah. literally the definition of it. And when done correctly, it is incredible content. Oh yeah, when done. But correctly, I, I do believe though, if you do it enough times, it's gonna get old. something's gonna go wrong. And yeah, something's gonna go wrong too. But I just, I just feel like sometimes I was like, man, come on. Like, we get it. We get it. I don't know. You're trying to get content, but I'm also here to just watch, like, basketball. Like, you ain't got to yell at every nigga after, like, every possession. Like, I know. I, I get it. Their bro. faces get red from screaming, but there's actually something, like, relatable about that. Like, do you ever go back and forth with somebody hooping? Because uh, I'm not at their level physically, but just even on my level, like when you hit a shot and you talk shit and they hit a shot, there's something like exhilarating about that. Literally, one of my favorite NBA moments, moments of all time was when Gilbert Arenas and I think T Mac, I believe, were going back and forth in the All Star game, shooting like deep, deep threes. Yeah. Boom, hit one. And Gilbert walk up. Boom, and they just walk up, shoot. Boom, and it's like they wasn't talking shit because it's an NBA game, but mentally they were like shooting yeah. from like 40 feet out as you talking shit. Yeah. Um. So. Isn't it crazy back then when niggas did that they were like losing their mind? Insane. The game does that like once every three games now. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy how much the NBA is just changing like ten yeah, years. It's changed, bro. Oh, I'm not, my bad. Not ten. Fifteen years. I I I just say this, Nick Briz. Like some of that shit is. It's funny, but other times it's like, man, just chill out for a second. Like the niggas clearly not. I get a little afraid. I don't know how they don't feel afraid. I get afraid sometimes that like. You don't know who those people are, bro. Some people, and, and if you do it enough, people are going to go there looking for problems, not looking for basketball, too. Like, oh, Nick Briz think he's going to try something on us? And then they, they'll just, they'll start a fight purposefully. Like, before Nick Briz tackled that guy, he said audibly, and Nick Briz caught it on video, um, he was about to tackle, so he, he felt like hit, hurt, like hitting somebody. He said something like that. 
he he declared he was gonna start drama before doing it, type shit. So you know, some people just come with that type of energy. It was um, a video that, that T J Ass was playing in like a um a, a league, like I think it's some type of rec league he was in, and it was like a huge fight. I mean, yeah, so he was like following him around the whole gym and shit like that. But the T Jazz thing is a little different because T Jazz is like flashy, so he'll embarrass you. Yeah, and nobody, nobody, like no man with pride likes to get embarrassed yeah. the way T-Jazz does people. So some people just take it like offensively when you put the ball like through their legs and run around them. Yeah, yeah Loki is like, damn, that's fucked up. But it's it's also like when it that's, goes, that's what Trevor play did, defense. That's what Trevor Reason did to um, uh, Trey Young. Oh yeah, he did. And then Trevor Reason wanted Joe Budden. He didn't go on the Joe Budden podcast. Maul called him, and Trevor Reason was like, that nigga ain't. He ain't gonna put no ball through my leg, man. In the middle of the game, bro. Just play ball. Don't do all that fancy shit. Don't do that shit with me. <laughs> but T Jazz is like a special type of like. He's flashy. He's great at. He's he could jump. He could shoot. Like Loki, his play style is built for YouTube. Oh yeah, for sure.